Rockies. We've been here for a while filming. And I will say this place is crazy. Definitely the basement has been the most active area for us tonight. We did capture some pretty good stuff. There's some good stuff up there. On, yeah. Uh, where Carl was. Yeah, we were sitting up there where Carl's exorcism was. And we got some really good stuff there. And we, we've had got so many cameras and all that stuff, so we'll have to go over everything. But just from our personal experiences, the basement's like, we've been taking turns. So Sean's down there right now, which I'm actually surprised that Sean is still down there right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the one thing is, it's once you're down there, you know, I mean, it's hard to try to run out of there, even if you oh, yeah. wanted to. It's so, so so dark in there. It's you can't so see freaking nothing. yeah. It's so freaking dark. It's like it's like almost you're like frozen with fear because your plan. You go down there, and your plan is okay. Well, I'm going to move throughout the basement and do these invest. You know, investigate the whole basement. But once shit starts happening, like you're frozen with fear, and you just like stand in one spot. And we'll take you guys down there. We got to give Sean a little bit more time down there. <clears throat> I think he's running ghosts here. Yeah, I don't think I've run on those two bangs I heard down there. And that second one, before I called you guys, yeah. was like so freaking loud. And I'll tell you what, when I was, I was getting stuff. But when I started to talk about Charlie, that's when things really got crazy. So, I mean, there may be something, too, like Charlie possessing Carl. So, like I said, once Sean gets done, we'll take you guys throughout the building. Maybe run some EVP sessions and stuff. We'd always wanted to get back in here because we were here about five years ago. We didn't investigate the building. We shot interviews and stuff like that, which was um, tied to a family haunting we did. And uh, we had some crazy experiences. A few attachments. Yeah, it was pretty bad. That was probably one of your first attachments, wasn't it? Yeah. It's pretty pretty bad so rocky did not want to come back here tonight so well but he... attacked uh whatever it was went home with me and then it ended up scratching the wife on her chest so she had like three like finger marks on across her chest and then also had all kinds of other stuff that was happening then I had to do a cleansing on the home to get rid of it. I feel like I had like nightmares for like a week. Yeah. I told whatever it was in here, they can't freaking leave with us or attach to us. Like I cannot believe Sean is still down there. It's good that he's down there. Hopefully he's picking up some stuff. And see, that's the strange things, because, like, you'll have, some people can come to Bobby Mackey's and be, they'll be fine. Other people have come in here and been affected. Like, people, like with that family haunting we were doing. Yeah, that was the, pretty bad. They didn't even believe, like, she was into the paranormal, but he didn't even believe, like, ghosts and the paranormal were a thing. And he was affected the most. Yeah. So after his visit here, and he just did the two-hour tour... You know, he was a firm believer. So it's not that you can come in here and get, maybe you don't get the experiences, but could something attach to you and you have these lingering effects after you leave this place. But anyhow, the main reason we want to get here is because they are going to tear this place down in a few months, which is, yeah, this is kind of like the most iconic building in the paranormal world. It has been for years. And uh, 
It's going to be leaving. Just to think that this history is going to be torn down and I can't believe he hasn't called one of us yet. Is she be loud? Hmm. Huh? The hell was that? It was a loud knock. Yeah. But she'll come out now. But I crawled down into the hole, which I don't know. I don't know if you're like supposed to crawl down in the hole if you're allowed to, but I crawled down in the hole the portal to do an EVP session. And that's when things like, I mean, you'll hear it on the video, the freaking banging and shit behind me. And we've had cameras running down there all night, so it's hard telling what the hell we caught. I keep looking down here because I keep waiting for Sean to run out of the basement door. What time is it? 11.58. We'll give him a little bit longer. Because even if he doesn't come out, it's still not safe to be down there that long by yourself. I don't give a shit what anybody says. They Some people can say all oh, this place isn't haunted, but come spend the freaking night here. Go down the freaking basement by yourself. <laughs> like upstairs, I think I could do like the upstairs by myself for a while because it's not as dark as the basement that freaking basement yeah. that's got like the scariest basement i've ever been in my life upstairs it just seems like it wants to communicate with you yeah it's definitely two different energies upstairs versus downstairs yeah it's kind of strange <clears throat> So if we'll take you guys down to the basement, do some stuff down there, and then we'll go into the main building, do some investigating in there, show you guys around, and then take you up to um, Carl's apartment, which they've not been allowed letting people up to Carl's apartment, but they have a, they have let us up there tonight. So, plus. I'm sure you guys have all seen Bobby Mackey's a million times on YouTube, but this might be your last time to see it. <laughs> yeah, I just could not stay down there any longer. you imagine back in the day you know all them people down there you know changing out and then going up on stage then come back down and then you know going to the changing rooms changing and yeah i bet you that was like creepy as hell now are they going to build another building on top of this or are they just tearing this shit down Mm -hmm. What I heard was that they was tearing it all the way down, but they was uh, leaving the well or that spot. What's that car doing? I have no idea. I think they're turning around. We got a mysterious car coming. It's one reason we don't typically go live on locations because people like randomly show up <laughs> they're probably watching us like oh they're sitting right there text sean and they're taking and tell him we're coming down he's only been down there like 14 minutes he's been down there longer 14 minutes huh we've only been on here how long we've we been on here 10 minutes. See? 14 minutes. Okay, we'll give Sean a few more minutes. <clears throat> Thank you, Scott. Uh, 
Has anybody ever been to Bobby Mackey's? Give a thumbs up if you've been here. Where that van went? I don't know. They pulled over there, didn't they? They're back there. Back there by the train. Probably just watch it and make sure that they don't go in down there. Okay, we're watching this van. The van pulled up and they went down there by the basement door. And Sean's in the basement by himself. So if they get out, we're going to have to run down there real quick. You want to go down there? I don't want to say go, yeah. Ordered some. Do you think the Uber fee? Do you think the train conductor would order Uber? Well, how's he gonna go to anywhere? He's just sitting on the track. He's probably sleeping in there. At least I hope. <clears throat> Let's just wait and see. Hopefully it's Uber food. Man, that's the only way you can get in there, right? It's that, that door. Mm -hmm. Sean said not to lock him in there. We should have just locked him in there and then we wouldn't have to worry about it. That would suck, though. Yeah, there's no quick way to get out of that freaking basement. Freaking lights. We're going to wait and see what this van's doing, and then we're going to go down there. I'm surprised that train just sits there the whole time. Hey, what would I do? I'm just like leave in the morning? Mm hmm. That'd be, this would be a hell of a spot to have to stop and wait. Yeah, could you imagine your train stops right behind fucking Bobby Mackey's? Then you gotta spend the night, <clears throat> every night, so many times a week, behind Bobby Mackey's, like you're hiding. I couldn't do it. It'd be awesome to interview that dude. But how long does it take to drop off freaking food? Maybe it's his wife, I don't know. Mm. Little Marvin Gaye going on down there. Little Diddy. Let's get it on. Okay, let's go check on Sean. Go with a white light. I don't know if this will be enough light. This will have to be enough light until I get inside and get my big light. Okay, let me take this. I'm gonna flip you guys around for one second here. Okay, do you guys wanna go check on Sean? Give a thumbs up. I kinda wanna see what that van's doing. Let's roll, boys. Okay, let's do it. You don't have to tell us twice. Keys are in my bag, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go check on Sean. Hopefully he's okay.
We'll stand, we'll be quiet. We'll stand by the door and just see if we hear him. His alarm's going off. You hear him? Yeah. Oh, the train's starting up. That's gonna scare the shit out of him. Hold on, guys. Can you imagine being in there and the fucking train starts up? <laughs> That'd be scary. Can you imagine that's all set in his own one? Hey, Sean. Okay. I'm live, okay? Did you get anything? Let's walk over there and you can tell me the story. All hell broke loose out here. Did you run ghosts here? How was that? <laughs> yeah, it was a set like right here. And oh my gosh, the, <clears throat> the bang. I mean, there was like two loud bangs out there. I mean, and then this thing really didn't bump too much until the bangs stopped. And then it was like it came back in here and started talking to me again. But, That's the way it was when I went down in that freaking hole. I was I ran probably two EVP sessions, and then right behind me in that door, that window where they said that they seen that dark shadow. I heard like a bang, and then something grabbed my leg, so I jumped out of there. And then when I was out here doing an EVP session, I was talking about that thing that attached itself to you. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, Josh. Remember, you already talked to him. That's when I heard that huge ass bang back here oh then i had it grabbed me out while well, i was over i was over that way and it grabbed me by the freaking arm did you talk That's, to charlie uh -uh. <laughs> no so when i started talking about charlie that's when shit got let's go back where the kids are well i got i asked uh some i can't remember i asked something about you being um, if it like scaring you or does it mess having you down here and it goes no. Yeah, because whatever has been here all night tonight does not like me one bit. Oh, no. And you even said that earlier, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, every time you went to speak, it set off one of the alarms to interrupt you. It was crazy. Oh, and another thing. Let me flip this around. Actually, do you want to hold this, Rocky, and then I'll uh, grab that camera. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the, oh, I know one picture, I think it was like ants or bugs or something, but I wanted to see the first picture it showed me because I couldn't make it out and it looked freaky. That stupid train, though. <laughs> that train scared the crap out of me. We was just talking about that. that. Could you imagine I have to stop there and sleep there? Yeah. That, right behind Bobby Mackey's. Let's go in here. Yeah, we can. Come on. Yeah, so I was out here. And I started to get more aggressive with Charlie. And that's when, like, this room right here got, like, super cold. I got goosebumps, and then back in here, it's just the loudest crashing sound. Okay, I'll show you that. Uh, oh, Josh, look at this. This was the first picture I got. That's freaking creepy. That's 
Crazy. Crazy. When I was sitting by the hole. That's weird. Mm-hmm. Then I got one of a whole bunch of bugs. I wonder if it's talking about my arm. Yeah, maybe. So I'll show you guys. What's up? This is this is how freaking dark it is in this basement. That's literally all we freaking see when we're in here investigating. Oh yeah, when you're by yourself, holy crap. That's where I was doing an EVP session. Like I don't even know if we're allowed to go down there, but yeah, no, but I uh, I had to. I remember that's where that Last time I was here, and that lady said that the guy was here by himself. Mm -hmm. Remember, he had, took a Ouija board down there. Didn't he try killing himself down there? He cut his wrist. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was smearing the blood all Jeffrey. over the Ouija board. I don't know if that's a guy. Is friend. Jeffrey the guy that was down here with the Ouija board? Leave me alone. I've been getting that a lot ever since I've been down here. It's been dry. It's just been telling me to leave. But I think they had to call maybe the squad to come get that guy. Yeah. Josh, go down there with the ghost tube. Okay. Move over. Move over. Okay. Where we are. Oh, here. I think it's just not like crazy easy to get. Well, you don't have to go all the way down. It's yeah, fine. just go all the way down. Yeah, I was sitting down like in the hole. I'll try it again and see with ghost to him. If this is really a portal, and that Carl dug this hole because some demon was telling him to, Can you please give us a sign? Not all with us. Can you tell me who possessed Carl? Who possessed Carl Lawson? Do not. Yeah. She Why? said don't take nothing. She said steal him. No, yeah. it's not a rock. How can a rock be stealing? Because they own the land. But I can have a beer bottle. I can't hey, have a rock. Take a beer bottle. Oh, I'm going to take a beer bottle. They said I can have a beer bottle. Does this hole have anything evil in it? That's where the bigger hole is. What happened down here? Josh. Something back there. Where? It's out there. Cut. Oh, and you were just talking about the guy. That cut itself. That cut itself. Came down here and cut himself. That's crazy. Do you remember the guy that came down here with the... What the frick? Have you seen him fly towards me? Uh-uh. Here, give me a camera. Hi, there's bugs up here. Yeah, well, I didn't see nothing down there. Are you talking about the guy that came down here and cut himself with the Ouija board? Charlie. I'm not alone anymore. Come out and talk to us. You like having Josh back down here? Uh, oh, yeah, the hole. Oh, 
this down. Oh wow, said monster earlier. Is there a monster in here with us? The monster, say the monster's real? Yeah. Where's the monster at? Is the monster the seven foot person? I know whatever was in here was saying that it was scared, you know, it feared something. Yeah, that's what people have always thought was there was a darker dominant spirit which resided a lot, because a lot of the stuff that people have seen that tall, uh -huh. sorry. It's in there. You hear it in there? Yeah. There he is. There it is. I didn't even come back here. Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey. Oh, wow. So do you like whiskey? Is that your favorite drink? Hear something talk? Scoo. Sound like a man talking. Yeah. Yeah, it was like real weird. Let's run an EVP session here real quick. I just shot this song. Sorry, I don't know about that. Rocky, Josh, and Sean in the room with the kids' toys. Whoever is talking to us, can you say yes or no? Did you possess Carl Lawson? Sound like somebody said I did or something like that. Rocky Josh and Sean in the room with the kids' toys. Whoever's talking to us, can you say yes or no? Did you possess? I keep feeling like something touched me. It sounded like it said Josh. That's what I thought. My about. name's like literally came over this multiple times. Rocky, Josh, and Sean in the room with the kids' toys. Whoever's talking to us, can you say yes or no? Did you possess Carl Lawson? Did you possess Carl Lawson? It sounds like somebody's talking like a female. Yeah. Let's go down to that one area. <coughs> Is this thing off? Yeah, you want to get up my back. I was taking this road, so I'm going to get the other stuff from him. There's... I can't see shit. Sean. Oh, yeah, so there's cameras. What? Where's the woman on the wall? Oh, that's... It's right there, yeah, but. Right 
shit. <laughs> Just trying to give Sean some light. I guess I need it. So this right here is a room where they caught a pretty crazy image. He was like this. He was like peeking his head out like this. And you guys will see the episode. So I'm going to run a session in here real quick. the dark shadow that they seen in this room I heard something like a voice Let's go upstairs. Hey spirits, stay here. You're not allowed leaving with us. Yes, oh. I agree. Make sure. What, what happened? Bottle. 
Before anybody freaks out, I asked permission. They said I could have one, so. Yeah. <coughs> what would you do? See the beer? Uh, what would you do? See the beer or something? We'll probably, we'll probably get pulled over on the way home and we'll get open uh, container. Open container. <laughs> I'll tell him, go ahead and take it. You, you can go ahead and take the it. officer. I'll show him. I forgot to shut the light off. All that the train building up pressure. Set this stuff in the room, and then we'll give them a Oh, you're fine. You take that. What are you looking for? Okay, we'll just do a quick walkthrough. Okay. There's that other stuff up here, Rocky. That's on that table. Okay, Rocky. You want me to leave this? You can turn it on. Rocky's going to work on packing stuff up. Sean and I are going to give you guys a scary tour. So this area back here is kind of where we started. We we're getting really good stuff back here. Yeah. Uh, we'll go up there and get it. This is the area where they did the exorcism of Carl. If you guys have seen that video, this is where it took place. Train is leaving. Train's leaving and they're gonna be kicking us out of here soon. There's the stage. There's the stage. I wish I had a brighter light. Sean, go grab that light out of the camcorder. Is that bright enough? Well, I don't wanna to hold too low. Well, uh, no, this will work. We're not gonna be much longer anyhow. There's the bull. If you guys enjoy bull riding. Unfortunately, the uh, ghost here ripped the bull's head off. <clears throat> I believe that's all fake. $8 bull ride. You imagine all the people that rode that bull 
and we'll take you guys. This is Carl's apartment. Like I said, this has been, oh shit. This has been closed off, but they were gracious enough to let us up here tonight. This is one of Josh's, this is one of Josh's first man experiences right here in this place. Oh, alarm. Carl, we're going to get ready to leave. Do you want to say anything before? You want to turn this on? Do you want to say anything before we leave? cares about that? Satan. Satan. Yeah. We didn't spend a whole lot of time up here because as you guys can hear the traffic. It's fairly loud. Carl, where are you going to go when they tear this place down? If you're still here. Oh. I was in that closet. Oh, oh no way in the closet, and then it said it's coming. What's coming? Hello? Carl? Fly. Fly. I'm trying to tell you to jump on and try to fly, Joe. So you guys, just said film. film. So you guys leave a comment. Where do you think spirits go? That's been attached to a building like this for all these years. I mean, we're dating back all the way to like 1990. Oh, okay. I think Carl probably took a bath in there. And tomorrow night's episode, don't forget, guys, tomorrow night we've got a brand new episode, 8 o'clock. To talk to you, Carl, before they tear this place down. Dude, those freaking alarms, like, never go off. No. Is that you, Carl, setting that off? Who's there, Bill, are you up here? We gotta get ready to go. We're gonna miss you. Sean might miss you. I'm not gonna miss you. Maybe he'll miss us. I've had too many bad experiences here to... Well, and all night tonight it's been saying my name.
Okay, watch your step. You don't think it always seems like that? Like different locations, like tend to like gravitate towards one of us. Like some places, like tonight, it was calling me names instead of you. Oh yeah. No, I definitely had the feeling when we came into this place, it was like so attracted to you. I mean, it's like you was the magnet. Where is that? Um... So I'll show you guys real quick here. get this to stand up okay don't fall if you guys can see listen to me Carl yeah there's other ghost boxes out there you need to get some back seat I need to get the UK spirit box on the back seat and the I'll incorporate some of the um, family haunting we did that revolves around this case so you guys can see it but if you guys don't know that's Carl Lawson he's the one that had the exorcism out there R.I.P. Carl Carl we hope you're at peace you're not really here but You never know. That would be pretty cool if they, when they have the auction, if you could get auction, get some of this stuff. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. I want to find that sign. It's in my bag, the little zipper. That sign that talks about uh, trying to find a sign for you guys. What it say? Oh, yeah, you got to stay here. You can't go with us. I was trying to find that sign. Warning to our patrons, this, esta this establishment is reported to be haunted. Management is not responsible and cannot be held liable for any actions of any ghost spirits on this premises. What? Was Rocky talking to it? Yeah, I turned the uh, GoPro on. And then all oh, when we were back there, we got um, it sounded like bottles clanging or glasses clanging up, up here. Let me flip this around. Whew. Pretty good night. I think what is good is when you come into a location like this, the different energy you get from different parts of the building, like up here, it was more eager to communicate with us. And then down in the basement, it was like, you know, get the hell out of here. You guys are in danger, get the hell out of here. It was more aggressive. Yeah, so hopefully this time we leave get no attachments but um we'll definitely see you guys tomorrow night eight o'clock in the chat brand new family haunting which it's kind of ironic that it's kind of like this where you know the building a big asylum was tore down and then people in the area started having experiences so that was always the question is 
you know, when they do tear something like that down, do the spirits just go anywhere they want? Do they stay there, wait for something else? Do they move on to a new location? Do they go be at peace? I don't know. So, how about dancing on the bar? My dancing skills are not very good. We probably lose subscribers. But yeah, we'll um, we gotta drive back home, and then uh, we'll see you guys in chat. I'm just so tired. So we're gonna try to find coffee somewhere in this town. But everybody, have a good Thursday night. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hopefully, you guys had fun. I apologize; it was kind of towards the end of everything, but we just got so caught up in filming and stuff. So you'll get to see the episode sometime, probably in May. So bye thank everybody. you, thank you guys. I'll let you guys say bye to Rocky and Sean real quick. Okay, say bye. Later, everybody. I'll see you uh, tonight. Yeah, right. today is it Friday? Yeah, today's yeah. Friday. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see you tonight. Okay, we'll see you tonight. Be in the live what chat. What did it say? Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's inside. you smash the like button, share. It's inside. Remember, you gotta stay here. You can't like go it. with us. I don't like it, Sam. <laughs> asylum. Oh, I was just talking about an asylum out there. Yeah. Did you hear Josh talking? Is that why you're bringing that up? I was kind of sitting there talking. Keep saying that it wants a drink. Really? Well. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. See you guys. We got to get packed up. Later, See everybody. They're going to kick our asses if we don't get out of here. See you guys. Team Nightmare out. <laughs>